well, holy or unholy, um, preachers hopefully will have an imagination because the gospel in many ways calls us to imagine new possibilities, even things we haven't experienced or seen yet because imagination is able to be a bridge for the past, the present, and the future. Because when we lose our imagination, think about it. In many ways, we lose, at least in our, imagine, in our minds, we lose our future. Because when we start thinking about God's future for us, we have all these images from Revelation and John, you know, uh, heaven or You have to have an imagination to be able to at least perhaps enter what that might mean. You know, the spirituals, I got a robe, you got a robe, all of God's children got a robe. No, there's some imagination going on. And I think it's the imagination that allows us to also, that points us toward a hope. I, I think without an imagination, we probably couldn't have any hope because it goes back to the Lament Psalms. The Lament Psalms, in that moment, the deliverance or whatever they were questioning God about may not be answered. But the hope came because they imagined and believed that God was going to do it. They didn't see it necessarily in the moment. So it has something to me to do about the future, seeing the future um, in a way that is new, 